In this lecture, I will talk about the raw data format of FFT for fast Fourier transform. This is an introduction of FFT. I want to give you some insight into the frequency domain analysis. A fast Fourier transform FFT algorithm computes the discrete Fourier transform of a sequence. An FFT is an algorithm that samples a signal over a period of time or space and divides it into frequency components. This figure is an example of an illustration. We have a waveform in time domain, plotted in red. It consists of three sinusoidal components at different frequency. By using FFT, we can obtain the magnitude at each frequency plotted in blue. The FFT results tells us about the major frequency component in the waveform. It can give us a better understanding about the waveform. Now let me go to LTSpice and show you a example of FFT. First, let's go to the folder for this lecture. Let's open the given schematic in LTSpice. So this is an example for FFT. We want to run some simulation in time domain using trend simulation from 0 seconds up to 5 milliseconds. On the left hand side, we have input voltage consists of V1 V2 in series. Uh, they are both sinusoidal voltage at 1 kHz and 100 kHz respectively. The input voltage is applied into a voltage divider by R1 and R2. The output voltage over input voltage is 1 over 10. That means the voltage gain from input to output is 1 over 10. Now let's run the transient simulation. We measure the voltage at V in and V out. You can see they have the same waveform, just a different magnitude because V out is one tenth of V in. They have very similar frequency component. If you zoom in, you can see 100 kilohertz frequency component. And overall, they have one kilohertz low frequency. Based on the time domain waveform, we want to do the FFT analysis. Let's maximize the plot window. We go to view, FFT. We choose V in and V out because they are already shown here. So they have been selected. We can use the default settings and we just hit OK. So now we can select visible waveforms. We can select both V in and V out. You hold the shift key when you press the left button of your mouse so that you can select multiple waveforms. So these two are selected. We just click OK. So this is the FFT results. You can see the plot window has a different name. So FFT results shows the horizontal is frequency and the vertical is magnitude. Uh, at low frequency 1 kHz, there are significant amount of magnitude in dB at 1 kHz. At 100 kHz, we can see that's another spike. The so FFT result implies that we have two major components at 1 kHz and 100 kHz. The so FFT also shows the harmonics of 100 kHz at 300 kHz, 500 kHz, 700 kHz, and so on and so forth. We just finished the FFT result. Now let's go back to the folder. We can see there a raw data has been created. That's a transient domain raw data. And the dot op dot raw data has been created as well. Now first, let's double check the raw data. The first part is the header of the raw data. We can see the voltage and the current for each component. After that, that's followed by the binary data. Let's look at the dot op dot raw. So this is the operating point of the raw data. The plot name is operating point. The log data has been introduced before. This is the simulation setup for the raw data. The last one, which is new, this is FFT result. You can see this is about six megabyte data, which is significantly more compared with the raw data. Raw data only has 423 kilobyte. 
but FFT results got 6 megabyte. It took quite a while to load the FFT data because this is a, a huge data. Um, the first part is the header file and you can see the plot name is FFT of time domain data. Flags are complex forward. Number of variables is 3. The number of plots is about 131,000. Offset 0 command is same as, as before, it's a linear technology. There are three variables in FFT. The first one is frequency, second one is input voltage, the last one is output voltage. So the second part of this data is binary data. You can, if you scroll down, you can see there are a tremendous amount of data here. This slide shows you the header file and the binary data format for FFT result. Remember that the raw data format for FFT is the same as AC analysis result. The data format starts with the first frequency in the size of 2 8 bytes. After that, that's going to be the real part in 8 byte and the imaginary part in 8 byte. So that's at frequency 1. The second one is frequency 2. So that's the same format and so on and so forth. It covers the frequency 1 all the way up to frequency n. Make sure you are in the correct directory for this lecture. For this lecture, there are two cells. The first cell is to read raw data from transient simulation. The second part is to import the FFT result. Let's run the first cell. If we run it, we can see uh, the name has been saved and the values for the variables from raw data has also been saved. Names. So this is all the names in the raw data, including voltage and current for each component. This is the values of each variable over time. The size is 12,003 points. If you click, the first one is time, the second one is Vin, and so on and so forth. If we look at the, the time, you can see changing from 0 second all the way down to 5 milliseconds. Just finished the first cell, now let's run the second cell. The second cell is reading the FFT result. The file name is just uh, the same as FFT file name. Extension is .FFT. And we save names of variables as name underline FFT. The entire result from FFT are saved as value underline FFT. Let's run this cell. Check the name of FFT. It's frequency V in and V out. That's exactly the same as the setup in FFT. Finally, let's check the value of FFT. The first one is frequency. We can see, although it looks like a complex number, the imaginary part is always zero, so they are all the real numbers. That's the frequency. Uh, first, we have 0 hertz, it's almost DC, and uh, 200 hertz, 400 hertz, all the way down to 1.000. So now, this is the last one. It's, the index is 131,071. So this is about 26 megahertz. And at each frequency, we have the complex number associated with the variable. So index number 1, that's going to be the V in in complex format. In the complex number, we have the real part and the imaginary part times the imaginary unit J. And last one is the V out in complex tab. So that's all for this quick demo. This slide shows the reference for this lecture. Thank you very much. See you next time.